guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger and we're down here at the cold frame. Uh, I came down here, I saw as I was mowing and weeding this morning, or this mid-morning, a couple of really long beans I needed to go ahead and get. So I thought I'll grab those and then we'll come back down here and visit our llama bush beans. They're doing okay. Um, and the thunder is telling me it's about to be upon me. That'll be nice. It'll cool it down just a little bit. We could use the rain. Not everybody could use the rain, but we could use a little bit of rain today. Um, so I went over to the pickling cucumbers, and they're pretty sad. They're probably on their, they are on their last leg, so I'm going to pull them. Even though they're still putting on blooms, I'm getting like little round, small pickles. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Ugh. But trying to be in a joyful, positive uh, state of mind, I'm going to also start planting stuff for the fall garden. Walmart the other day, I saw that uh, they had a Mrs. Wages pack for bread and butter pickles. So, although I wasn't able to get the dill one, they still don't have that, um, I did get the bread and butter one. So, I'm going to try the bread and butter one and see how that uh, does. And then I thought I would just bring you guys along. It's gonna be probably just a short, quick video. And this part of it is gonna have to come to an end quickly because there is that nastiness. I don't know if you can see it in the sky. Is about to bear down on me. <laughs> And I sure don't, well, I don't know. Maybe I do want to get caught out here in that. <laughs> it would be refreshing. But I don't like the l lightning and thunder that's coming with it. So, I got my sweet tea with me today. So, uh, I'm trying to stay hydrated. I know this is probably not the right thing to stay hydrated with. But, I do enjoy my sweet tea and my coffee. Usually, I'm a two-fisted drinker. here, <laughs> And it's all caffeine. So, I don't know what that was that just buzzed my tower. Um, so uh, I'm gonna grab, I, th I think I've got one more that I need to go grab. So I'm gonna go grab that. I'm gonna grab this metal tripod. Uh, it's probably not the best thing to be sitting out here with. And I'm gonna go get on the porch and then we'll, I'll bring you along for it. So we'll get over there and get after it. All right guys, so we're back on the outdoor kitchen. The weather's kind of getting bad. So, uh, and as much as I love, love, love my outdoor kitchen, when the weather gets, I think you're crooked. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. As much as I love my outdoor kitchen, when the weather gets really bad and it starts raining and the wind is coming, I can't cook out here. It's just, it's too humid, it's too wet, uh, you know, windy everything's going everything everywhere so i may have to do some of this now and then come back and do the rest of it later so um it has gotten quite dark so i know it's coming um but you know when you're all in you're all in so i'm going to be using my steam canner today i really like my steam canner i can't say enough about it i know you probably are tired of listening to me talk about my steam canner but but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> now I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Uh, I haven't gotten that big yet, so um, I just really like it. If you are a seasoned canner, you know the issues of water bath canning. The pot is heavy. You have jars in it that have stuff in the jars and you're lifting it and you have to have one to two inches above each jar, all the jars as you're processing and that's a lot of weight to lift and if you splash it potentially uh, the, the amount of water that you have to heat up to a boil is just that's a lot and takes a lot of heat to do that so you're using gas you're using more water I mean all the variables that make water bath canning challenging sometimes uh, you've eliminated almost every one of them with the steam canner I just really think it's the way to go. And if you're a new canner, 
and you want to try it, try making your own jams. That's the easiest thing you can do is try the peach jam. Uh, buy a steam canner. They're not that expensive. I mean, they're, they're $50, $60. So, but for the investment, if you plan on canning your own food, this is definitely the way to go. Um, so I can't, rec rec I can't, I can't, I can't say enough of good things about this. So I guess that's two things I love. I love my steam canner and I love my outdoor kitchen. So anyways, so we're going to do the bread and butter pickles. I'm going to do it in half pints, I've decided, because I'm the only one that likes bread and butter pickles. My dad used to love them. He really did. So, but I'll be the only one eating all of these. So, uh, I'm just going to make them in half pints. Pint time, which is what I'll have to use, even though I'm doing half pints, there, you either have to do the pint time or the quarter, I mean, the pint time or the quart time and uh, anything the pint time or below goes with the pint time. Anything with the quart time and in between the quart and the pint, you have to do it by the quart time. Quart time is 15 minutes, pint time is 10 minutes. So I'll be canning it for 10 minutes. Um, I need six and three quarter cups of vinegar, seven cups of sugar, and the one packet of the Mrs. Wages bread and butter spices. So I'm gonna get that up to a boil, the sugar, the vinegar, and the Mrs. Wages. Um, we're looking for a half inch headspace on these jars. Once you add, you're gonna stuff it with the cucumbers, pour over the brine, and then you're gonna look for a half inch headspace. So let's get to canning the pickles. Okay, so we're we're back here in the outdoor kitchen. It does not seem like the odds are in my favor today for whatever reason. Uh, something doesn't want me to do this video. It doesn't want me to get it done in a timely manner. So I had to give you the little picture story. So sorry about that, um, but I tried to make sure and take stills of everything and then put like a sticker on the top of it so you knew what I was doing at that point but uh, in some of those the wind was blowing and sideways what I like to call sideways rain was coming in on my backside so yeah it was a mess we steam canned it for 10 minutes turned off the heat let it rest for five minutes and now we're gonna take the top off and take these babies out of here How good they look yay oh I'm already hearing popping I don't know if you heard that pop or not but I'm already hearing it so there we go I ended up with eight pints I actually ended up with another little bit uh, and I had a lot of leftover brine so I'm just gonna put this in the fridge I'm gonna let it sit about 24 hours and let those flavors all meld real good and then I can eat these uh, this will be my first jar I consume but these put over here for 12 to 24 hours you don't want to mess with them don't play with them I know I always say that don't mess with them don't play with them keep them out of the way of anybody where somebody might tip them over on accident you don't want that 
um, and then you can come back and take the bands off. You can clean the jars. You can write on them what it is. What I'll do, write on it what it is. Date it, and then it will be put on my shelf and added to my stash. So, there you go. There you have it. All done. And people are pinging. I don't know if you can hear the pinging, but <laughs> that's a good sign. I love to hear the ping. Now, the four jars lids don't usually ping as loud as what we're used to kind of hearing some of the older jars uh, or the older lids. The four jars lids don't ping quite as loud, but nonetheless, they still ping. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or suggestions. There's a, that was a strong one. I know you heard that. You had to hear that one. Okay, so we had one more mild interruption. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was actually just saying goodbye. So thanks for tuning in to our channel. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, and I guess we'll see you on the next video if you have any comments or questions or anything below. I mean, make them below. So, oh, yeah, yay. This has really been a hard one today. I don't know what's going on. Take care and God bless us, everyone. This was my mild interruption. I don't know if you guys can see all of them, but there's four of them up there. And I just turned around and there they were. Up there along that big pine right there wrapped around it is some old honeysuckle vines and they are just eating away up there Ooh, and somebody's trying to run somebody off <laughs>